So like I was saying earlier, I looked into just all all the cool little details about what it is that y'all do. Like whenever it comes to your uh, welcome center, how it's staffed by people that are in uh, transformational programs, you know, and I just think that little details like that is what makes people looking into it realize just how much y'all care about not only just the beauty of the area, but the people in that area as well. I feel, you know, I truly feel that as a society of us as Eastern Kentuckians, because I can talk about it because I'm one of them, just like yourself. Um, we have failed the generation prior to me or before me or after me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the opioids that came in after I left has really put a hurting on our people. Uh, giving people nothing to do with an opioid problem is a severe problem. You agree with that or not? Oh yeah. Yeah. I agree. You know, transition. Some of my best friends I grew up with, they're dead now overdosing, um, heart problems, whatever from the drugs. Um, and also, you know, see this, the zombie fight in certain areas of people walking around, like walking dead. That, that really bothers me. It's a cord, you know? Um, so our transition program is real simple. What's the best way for someone in transition to keep them on a straight and narrow? What, what do you think in your, your opinion? I think that it's giving them a good job. Well, just giving them any type of opportunity because so many people are just so quick to cast that judgment and look at these people mm -hmm. as Beneath them. a lost cause, mm -hmm. you know, and whenever you give them a little bit of opportunity and also just show them that, Hey, you're still important. You still have a purpose here on earth that can go miles for somebody Absolutely. who is in that mindset. And, you know, my big thing is a lot of these people that's in the transition stuff, they don't have a lot of self-confidence and I'm not knocking it. You know, our job is to get build self-confidence in, in our people. Yeah. Um, how do you do that? You put them in front of a T or of a camera or every day that you're going on Facebook live promoting their area, makes them prideful about their area. And it's also teaching them public speaking, self-confidence, builds respect agreed or am i wrong oh, yeah yeah that? totally agree you know so that's the one thing i'm proud of and i'm proud of our staff is i, I can say i would put them up against anybody right now you know around transition or not and and let them go head to head with them because they'll outwork them they got that appalachian work ethic all of a sudden and uh i can just kick back and grin you know what i mean yeah exactly and and uh, there, there's perks working with us. I mean, where else in Eastern Kentucky you, you're going to be able to get a ride in a Lamborghini, you know? Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, you know, sometimes we might have some famous people swing by just because they saw it. And, you know, it's just a cool thing for these people to be able to be part of, you know? And we don't treat them like staff. They're a team. That's the difference as well. I have a team of people that everybody is equally important as everybody else. We don't look down on someone because they're in transition, drug court, whatever, you know, working on their GED. We want them to get that GED. I want to find every way possible to help them get education where they can go on if they decide to leave backgrounds of Appalachia. They will be a contributing person to society. And uh, I think we're on the right kind of work path i guess you could call it a blue collar work path uh, versus other work paths that's been placed out from other organizations in this area um you know be confident in yourself you can do successful things 